Hi, good morning. I'm in Prince Edward Island, um, right out on the east coast of Canada. It's just the break of day, it's like really early, and um, I'm really excited because we're going to the baby seal nursery um, on the ice floes further up north. I saw pictures of, of, of them, of, of these baby seals, and they've just been born, so they're really, really cute, and I'm really excited to go check them out. But I've also seen pictures of them being clubbed to death, and that is what's going to happen in a few weeks' time. So, I don't know, I mean, I'm excited, but I'm also like kind of feeling a bit weird about this whole thing. It's so ironic, but let's see what happens out there. That's my helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, people very, very rarely go into the water, but when you're taking pictures of the baby seals, which you will do, not to try and get your frame and walk backwards. Um, we all do it, but it's so easy to go through a hole that way. If you do go into into the water, do not panic. Your suit is a flotation device. Fred is uh, one of the pilots, and he's going to give us a safety briefing on how to behave around the helicopter. Uh, the main danger is around the helicopter, of course, is the blade. Here we go. What do you think? I'm thrilled. <laughs> it's amazing to be standing here on top of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> this is my favorite place on Earth. And uh, just wait until we get close to the baby seals. Mm -hmm. We're just going to love mm -hmm. it. They all tend to be very individual. Some of them are. It's hard to describe it beyond words because um, just being out here is absolutely amazing. I mean, you really see nature at its full splendor and beauty. Oh, <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah, they were telling me. Hey, baby. It should be a pretty safe place, um, if you come to think of it, because it's like right out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this is so cute. Hello, hello, boy. Hello. I'm mesmerized. This is the ultimate of cute. <laughs> Such a cool little fellow. see how helpless they are and you think what's going to happen to them in a few weeks, what do you think? It's hard to imagine because it's, it's a nursery, it's going to be like where all the baby seals congregate while the mothers are gone um, and I mean right now we see so much um, like the splendor of nature because you know the, the babies with the mums. It's, um, it's hard to believe that in a few weeks' time, I mean, it's going to turn into a slaughter ground here. It's hard to believe that maybe in a few weeks' time, this little fellow here is not going to be around anymore. Come on. They're still, you know, little pups, they can't defend themselves and then 
um, and then people just just come in and then just slaughter just slaughter them. Yeah, they can't even run away. They can't even swim. I do think Hong Kong is a responsible society, and if we're responsible, we shouldn't allow this to happen. And definitely not at the expense of, I mean, to killing these animals for their fur. I mean, that really is something that is totally unnecessary. And I believe Hong Kong, um, we're very compassionate in, in, in these things, and I think we can make a difference. Yeah. This is just absolutely amazing. We just don't know about this. We don't know such places existed, and that these little fields are so, so lovely, so adorable, and how beautiful our world is. And to raise the awareness that everyone has a responsibility to keep, keep its beauty. Thank you, thank you for taking me over. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience.